Hello fellow YouTubers, and welcome back to Crash Bandicoot Warped. In the last episode, we went through level 29, which was secretly level 19, and we got both gems since it brought us into a special secret entrance where we got the first gem and a bunch of boxes that allowed us to get the second gem. And on this episode, we're heading through the final level of Warp Area 6, and this is actually one of my favorite levels in the game, Rings of Power. Now, if you look at it, I, you actually can't really read it. We'll find out what it is in just a moment, though. Two gems in this level. One is for the boxes. The other one is for something that we will see. Now, remember... Now, as you see, we are in an airplane. It tells us to do the spin. If you do a spin, you get a little speed boost. And I should actually... I should actually might want the... The brake on this one. So what we're doing is we're racing other planes in this level. Which is a cool little mixture of the racing levels and the, the plane levels. This is actually my favorite plane level. I think in... I think in, woo, I think in, uh, when I was doing Mad Bombers, I said there was only one plane level that I really liked. It was this one I was talking about. Because, A, you're not going to get shot at. I mean, the only problem in this level is that if you miss a ring, you're going to have to turn around and get it. Basically, right now, I'm just going for the boxes. I'm just, I'm just going for the, I'm just going for the box gem right now. Which is why I'm holding the break button down, now that, you know, it's a break button. So that I don't, I don't accidentally miss a box. It would suck having to turn around and try and find where these boxes are since there's 33 boxes That's definitely the most boxes in a racing level And as you saw if you spin through the if you spin through the ring while you go through it You'll get a speed boost if you don't hold the brake down while you go through the box You get a slight speed boost as you see it turns turns yellow your tear your smoke trail turns yellow speed boost will turn it purple You hold the brake button down though <laughs> and No speed trail will happen. I'm going as slow as possible right now and here's the 15th ring. You have to go through every ring in order. You can't go through a ring if it's not shining. There are nitro boxes, so you gotta be wary of those, too. You can see which one's gonna be next, I think, because the... It's gonna be, it's gonna be like, the lights are gonna go on a little bit and show which one's gonna be coming up next. Like, this one is gonna be the one behind these clouds, and the clouds are gonna be a little difficult since... It might block out some boxes or some nitros. I think the only way you can actually fail on this mission is if you hit a nitro. They go pretty quick too. And this is actually the the title is based off of a, a video game that Naughty Dog worked on shortly before starting Crash Bandicoot, the first one. I think the game was called Rings of Power. I'm not sure if it's exactly the same. The same concept? I'm pretty sure it's not. It's not a definitely a Bandicoot in World War One era, flying a flying a World War One plane into into rings over a desert sky. There we go. I think we only have one box left. I hope. I hope we have one box left because it should be right here. There we go. Got all the got all the gems. First time, the first time that we actually got all the gems on the in the first take of a race. Granted, it's a flying level, so it was very easy to break and not miss any of the boxes. Well, if we wanted to, we could have turned around as well, unlike other racing levels, and got all the boxes that way. I just like this level, because it's the only time you see a level like this. It's the only time you actually race in a plane. Only time you have to go through rings. Only time you're not getting shot at. You have, you technically, it's just like a racing level. You don't have any enemies that are going after you, except for, I think if you get in front of them, they don't do anything. <laughs> I don't think they do anything if you fly in front of them. We'll find out, though. For the time trial, though, we're going to have to be using this little speed boost thing a lot more. And that is already off to a bad start. I missed the first ring. Or the second ring, I should say. You see, I didn't time that correctly, so I just... I just got yellow. Now I'm actually trying to race. That time I got purple. Ooh. <laughs> Gotta remember that there's a break button. I hit the nitro. And I actually lost the life. I don't actually want to hit that, that time trial just yet. All right, let's not fail at getting the... I am going to fail. No, I got it. I think you could just simply go in normal speed and and win this race. I don't think there's any a, any a time that you have to do a spin through the a spin through the hoops. Oh, that time I, I hit the brake button 
shortly before going, so I guess it canceled all my momentum, so I didn't get a speed boost that time. I see second place. I think you can shoot them out of the sky. That smoke trails behind him. It might just slow them down, though. I think it just it just slows them down. Look at that one right in front of me. I'm doing the spins on the ones I know take a while to get to the next one. There's first place right up there. There's only four racers, including me. Or maybe the maybe the shimmer was him him also going through the boost, getting in the boost. I have failed this one before. I, I just showed me failing it. I, I I I forget that there's a break button, and so there we go. Got the gem for getting first place in the race. I cannot I cannot wait to do the the time trial for this level. It's gonna be so difficult. I, I don't remember if any of the boxes turn into number boxes or not. I don't even remember the time. What do I need for that race? 101. 101.46 is the time I need for it. But... We're done with Warp Area 6. We've gotten... We went through every single level. Got all the gems, pretty much. I think we did get every single gem. Yes, we did. So, yeah, this is 105... 101.46 is the, is the gold time for this level. So, that leaves us with 88%. We have 33 of 42 gems remaining, which means we only have 9 left. 3 more relics, as we just saw. <laughs> the 3 levels that aren't repeats in this area. That's 12. So that'll get us up to 100%. So, in the next episode, let's see what, we're, what are we going to be doing in the next episode. I think in the next episode, we are going to be doing all the gem paths. So it's going to be just like the time trials, except with gem paths. And there are, let's see, there's six gem paths in the game. So, on the next episode of Crash Bandicoot Warped, look forward to that. So until next time, hopefully you enjoy.